Hello again, everyone. I'm Chris Legrand and welcome to another edition of Sun News Today, where we're on location in San Diego. We're here on the campus of the University of California at San Diego, where sun technology is playing a vital role in brain research. The university is using Sun Java workstations to power a very unique video wall, which is allowing researchers to see detailed images of the brain like never before. So let's take a look at the whole brain. Talk about brain power. That's what researchers at UC San Diego are saying about this high-tech device called the BioWall. It's made up of 20 flat panel displays mounted on a wall, measuring five monitors across and four monitors high. It projects massive two- and three-dimensional images, providing researchers with highly detailed pictures of the brain. We've never been able to do this before. It's um, an incredible boon to us because it shows us new, new avenues to explore. What I'm seeing here are different cell layers, nuclei. Natalie McLean is a research associate here at the university's National Center for Microscopy and Imaging Research. She does basic scientific research on various neurogenerative diseases like Parkinson's and Alzheimer's. Her work requires her to study the cells and tissues of the brain, and the bio wall is taking her research to a whole new level. The scientists forever have been doing test tube chemistry, you know, grind, add drops of chemicals, and poof, result. But you know that that's not giving you the whole picture. It's, you're not looking at it in its native state. You're not able to see what different regions are, are doing different things. And so it gives you a, a real picture in real time of what the brain is doing or what's going on within it. This center works on about 100 scientific projects each year. 40 researchers use the bio wall to study the brain so they can get a better understanding of the diseases that affect the nervous system. The bio wall is a new tool for them and it's providing some amazing insight. This particular scene that you see is part of what was an assembly of 43,000 images taken with a laser microscope. Mark Ellisman is the director of the center and a professor of neurosciences and bioengineering. He says the bio wall is giving researchers a clearer picture into how the brain is connected. What's resulted from having this tool is a more rapid understanding of the relationship between components. So, for example, patterns of very small things in the context of the entire brain have been noticed that weren't noticed before. Patterns that predict the way the brain organizes itself that hadn't been suspected. The process of getting these high resolution images begins by taking pictures of the entire brain using a very high powered microscope. Then we use software to stitch together these images. So each image is a tile and they all get stitched together. Once it's together and it's processed, then we upload it to one of our um, racks through a great GUI interface, so like a regular um, internet interface, and we can put it up on the bio wall and we can maneuver it. Researchers are getting to see these first ever images of the brain thanks to technology developed by Sun Microsystems. The bio wall is powered by Opteron based Sun Java workstations. Mark Ostrowski is the territory sales manager for the San Diego office of Sun Microsystems. Well, the bio wall is another example of Sun stepping up to the plate and recognizing a true opportunity to power a visualization wall such as this, the bio wall here at UC San Diego which is providing a lot of opportunity for researchers, students, and faculty to understand and visually see their research at a much larger scale and definition. The university began its partnership with Sun back in 1991, and today it uses Sun's servers, storage products, and Java. Mark Ellisman says Sun is a reliable technology partner. Sun has been one of the uh, groups giving us some of the technology that's most stable in terms of the hardware platforms. We can rely on their architecture to provide uh, 724 capability with high uh, percent uptime. Uh, the servicing of the equipment for a center of this sort, which serves a, an international community, uh, has been uh, you know, at the top of the uh, uh, comparison scale. 
Because of advanced technology developed by Sun and the increases in network bandwidth, researchers are able to share their findings and collaborate with other institutions around the world. The university is hoping to add more bio walls in the years to come, a high-tech solution which is having a huge impact on scientific research. It allows us to move in to spaces that are beyond our normal uh, uh, sensory capabilities, to move down in size, to see things all the way down to atoms seamlessly. It's a very nice technology that's evolving rapidly to put us in context and put the parts that make us up together. And that's going to do it for this edition of Sun News Today. Well, we're coming to you from San Diego. I'm Chris Legrand. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time for another edition of Sun News Today.